Babs and besties, and happy holidays! Now that we have our stockings hung above the fireplace, let's take a look at what's on the shelves that would make good stocking stuffers. I have my stocking here, T for Toya, or for toys. It works either way. This year, we want to see what we can find for $5 and under. So I took a trip to Five Below and found a few things. Like Black Pink Broken Heart Superstars. First, we have to see if it can fit in the stocking. Yes, it can. For $5, we get a bracelet with a little Black Pink book charm, a minifigure with articulation at the head and at the arms. She comes with fashion and accessories, and the heart case is reusable. Speaking of reusable, we can take the little plastic bags that everything was wrapped in. I neatly cut the top, and now I'm gonna fold it in half and cut a little half oval to make little black pink shopping bags. How cute! I love recycling! We found world's smallest, priced at $5. Can it fit in the stocking? Uh, yeah. Yep, it can. It's a miniature Scrabble with a tiny drawer that holds all of the letters and they are magnetic, which is awesome because they stick to the board. I can't tell you how many times my family and I have played Scrabble and someone knocks the board and all the pieces just get all messed up. Ugh, where was this when I needed it? It's a nice size for the dollhouse, so we can pretend like our dolls are playing a board game by the fire on a cold winter's day. Real Little's shoes for $5. I am pretty confident this will easily fit into a stocking. Yep. Oh wow, the box is pretty large. And inside we have some tissue paper and solid pink shoes. Really? I was hoping for some really fun painted details and I got pink sneakers. They're just solid pink and they're kind of sticking to the paper. Oh man. This kind of reminds me of those uh, surprise toys that you're supposed to put in water. Wait, is that what we're supposed to do here? Checking out the collector's guide and yeah, we have ultra rare shoes that we have to put in water to reveal. But my shoelaces are gonna get wet. We need a protected surface, some warm water, I removed the laces and I will just figure out how to put them back in later. And now we're gonna clean our shoes with water play toys. I mean, yay! Oh, look at that! We're getting some cool colors! Yeah! Okay, those do look pretty cool. I put the laces back in and I realized I missed a few spots when I was washing off the pink stuff. Whoa, they fit my Barbie! And I was able to balance her to stand. Okay, real littles, I see you. But personally, I could do without the whole water play part just because it gets messy. Care Bears for $3.99. A great size for a stocking stuffer. There's a minifigure a little over two inches tall. This is Harmony Bear, and I would use it as a teddy bear for our dolls. I found a Briar Horse for $5. Not sure if this is going to fit into the stocking. Okay, let's try it this way. There you go. It kind of fits. This horse's name is Coco. It's pretty sturdy and I think it could handle play with no problem. It has flexible ears, a mane, and tail. And they're a good size for dolls or figures like Lickitos. I found Wacky Packages Minis for $5. Into the stocking they go. These 3D puny products can get a little on the gross side. Zit Cat, Puss Pop Candy, Ant Farm Cake. 
No tips. And anvil. Some of these will look pretty good in the dollhouse, like this little cake. If your dolls can learn to deal with all the ants. Disney Dorables for $3.99. Fit into the stocking. Inside, we found two minifigures, Moana and Flower. Ooh, special edition. These minifigures can be used as toys for our dolls. Disney Princess Funko Minis for $5. And yay! Standing around three inches tall, this is a stationary figure. This might be a pretty good gift for a Disney fan. For the Pokemon fan, we found little figures like Pikachu. That can be our cute little cuddly pets. And I'm going to dress you up in cute little puppy sweaters. Or maybe not. Unicorn Crazy Surprise by Briar for $2.99. Ooh, we got a pink unicorn and it matches my room. I think stable mate size horses are pretty good statues for dolls that we can display in our doll rooms. Eh, the color might be off a little, but we make allowances for unicorns. Headbands and scrunchies. For $3.25 each, into the stocking you go. Don't underestimate the value of these. I've seen doll people do amazing things with scrunchies. And we made this lounge set out of a headband. This headband provides a nice amount of material. I like it because it has a tiny print. Where it attaches to the elastic, let's flip it inside out and cut those stitches, separating the parts of the headband. So we have two wide strips, one thin one and elastic. The wide strips are about 15 and 3 quarter inches long and two and a half inches wide while folded. Unfolded, it's probably about five and a half inches wide if you add a seam allowance. The thinner tube is 14 inches by one inch. So unfolded, it's probably two and a half inches. I don't know if we're gonna use this, but there are the measurements. Let's take one of the wide strips, open it up, then fold it over, cut it in half. I place the doll next to it and cut a J shape right where the seat should be. Fold it in half, cut along the same line. So when we open it up, it's cut on both sides. Now we're going to turn it so the good side is on the inside and match up that curve. So along the curve, you can use a needle and thread or a sewing machine. I used a sewing machine. Open it up, fold over and hem the bottom. Once the bottom of both legs have been hemmed, I fold over the top edge and iron it flat. Cut a thin piece of elastic, stretch it a few times to make sure it won't fall apart. We can place it underneath the fold and sew it down or lay it on top and use a zigzag stitch while pulling it to sew it in place. To make it gather, with the good side on the inside, match up the curve and sew along the edge. Then I went back with a zigzag stitch to prevent fraying. So now we have the waistband of our pants. I wasn't exactly neat with my stitching, but I think it'll work. This is the time to make adjustments. If you feel like the waistband is a little too wide, you would just make the curve a little deeper. Then grab the bottom of the pant legs and we're gonna pull them in opposite directions and then sew a straight line going across to make wide leg pants. And these scrunchies have little bows wrapped around them that we can easily remove and get a long strip that we can use as a scarf. We found dolls for $5. This is Glitzy's Princess by Zuru. It fits into the stocking. This doll is around 10 inches, has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, this doll can go out to the side and forward and back and go forward and back and out to the side. The head cannot go forward. If you force it, it will break. 
I'm talking from experience. This doll has rooted hair reaching past the waist, fabric clothing that opens with Velcro in the back. There are other dolls with a $5 price point. I picked this swimsuit Barbie up at Walmart for $4.99. She can fit into the stocking. This doll also has the basic five points of articulation with full rotation at the head. She can look up, down, tilt the head to the side, and look to the side. Full rotation at the shoulder, and the leg can go forward and back at the hip. Can it go out to side? Just a little. This doll does not come with fabric clothing. Instead, her bathing suit is painted on. But since this is a Barbie, she is compatible with Barbie items. Like fashion packs. I bought this at Walmart for $4.99 and it fits into the stocking. Fashion packs are great gifts for a doll friend who already has a favorite doll and who may not want to craft clothing out of headbands and scrunchies. But come on, who wouldn't want to make clothing out of headbands and scrunchies? But if you do need a break from sewing, these fashion packs come with an outfit and accessories that can give the swim Barbie a whole new look. For $2.97, we found Barbie Pets blind bags. This is series nine and it easily fits into the stocking. They have lots of different kinds of animals now and I just want a regular dog. It's a purple husky. So close. But it's fuzzy and it's flocked, it has an adorable face, and we could always use it as a pet for Barbie Dreamtopia. I would love to see these pets in the right proportions for their breeds. You know, like if it's a husky, make it a little bit bigger. Oh, it's like a dragon husky. It has little spikes. At five below, we found Micro Toy Box for $3. Easily fits in the stocking. There were five mini toys inside that we can use as toys for our dolls and the packaging is reusable and we can store all of the toys inside. From Five Below, LOL Surprise Series 2 Surprise Capsule. It was $5, which I felt was a little steep because um, part of me thinks it's stickers. <laughs> There was a little bag inside that kind of reminds me of those little takeaways you get at a birthday party. And there's a sticker, some hair bands, a ring, and a little necklace with a charm. Yeah, I would have liked to have gotten like some mini dolls or even accessories inside. At Target, I picked up these two minifigures for the new Disney movie, Encanto. I haven't watched it, but they were $3.99 and they fit into the stocking. This is Isabella and Mirabelle. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing everything incorrectly. This figure is about three inches tall, has some articulation at the waist, the head, and the shoulder and they each came with a small accessory. Ah, oh, look at that. The Barbie Husky is a pretty good size for them. I think these are pretty cute little figures. They have painted details. And if you like a smaller scale, this might be an option for you. At Walmart, I found Real Little's Micro Mart for $3.99. They pass the stocking test. Inside, we find two mini packs with corresponding Shopkins. The scale of the mini packs is often off for our one six scale world, but they look great on shelves and like stores and stuff. Thanks to Grandma Gets Real on Instagram, I finally found totally tiny Chinese food, totally tiny French breakfast, and totally tiny movie time, each for $5. They will fit in this stocking one way or another. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I can do without the slimy ooze topping. I'm really just here for those miniature food items. This is from the French breakfast set. We get a nice amount of little pieces. The little cup is too cute. I believe that is a French press, I wanna say. I could be wrong, but that's a little coffee maker thing, which is really cute. And then we have a little knife, some jelly. It looks like cheese and fruit and some little pastries. If those aren't pastries, I apologize. I am most likely gonna use these two 
on a daily basis. These are from the movie time pack. We have two individual pretzels, some chocolate. I want to say those are chicken strips. Uh, that's what I'm going to say it is. And then we have some gummy bears, popcorn, and a drink. And the popcorn comes out so you can pretend like the dolls ate it all. This one is from the Chinese food pack. Got a little takeout box, soy sauce, chopsticks, oranges, fortune cookies. I want to say those are dumplings and I'm guessing egg rolls. I could be wrong. But they are all perfectly sized for our one six scale dollhouse. It is a single serving. So if we're feeding more than one doll, we'll probably need more than one pack. But uh, yeah, or you know what? They could always just share. Yeah, let's just do that. But the totally tiny packs are probably my favorite find for the day. They have lots of fun little details and we can use them with a variety of dolls from Barbie to Rainbow High. I only wish that they were easier to find in my area. Ooh, we can place the little bucket of popcorn next to the movies. So our dolls can have a snack while they're watching their favorite holiday movies. And those are our stocking stuffer ideas for under $5. If you're looking for something a little extra, here is a $10 holiday Barbie that still fits in the stocking. This doll has curly hair, pretty neutral makeup, plastic earrings that were not designed to come out. She wears a pink one shoulder dress decorated with a printed candy cane ribbon, bulbs, stars, and snowflakes. The pattern continues all the way onto the back where it Velcros she comes with a pink plastic purse and pink heels. She has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. And her eyes look almost lavender. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at what's on the shelf this holiday season that can be used as stocking stuffers. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. Let us know in the comments down below which items you think make the best stocking stuffers. And we will see you next time. Bye! Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter if the snow is falling.